Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss and one of my secrets to my success is meal prepping every week. So I have healthy options on hand and it is Monday, so it's meal prep day. I have breakfast, lunch, and a dessert for you. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a meal prep every Monday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box, you will find nutrition coaching. Highly, highly recommend personalized macros and calories. That is what I followed to lose and maintain my 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. I will also have my recipe website at the very top of the description box. This is where you will find all of today's recipes. In fact, all of the recipes I've shared on my channel over the years are on my recipe website. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. It's free, it's supportive, and we would love to have you. So let's head into the kitchen for this week's meal prep. For breakfast this week, I'm making berry protein pancake bites. I'm so excited for these. I'm probably going to pair this with some bacon, turkey bacon, sausage, maybe some eggs. We'll see, add in a little bit of extra protein, but let me show you what you'll need. So these are made in a mini muffin pan. I bought mine off of Amazon. I will link it down below for you. You're going to need some pancake mix. So I'm going to use the Clean Simple Eats protein pancake and waffle mix. This actually has 15 grams of protein and five grams of fiber. I have mine in vanilla. This is so good, it's 100% grass-fed whey just like Clean Simple Eats protein powder and a serving is 198 calories. It is so good. Seriously, it makes the best protein waffles and pancakes. And again, it's from Clean Simple Eats, the same place that I love their protein powder. I do have a discount code, so I will link it down below for you. You're going to need milk of your choice. I'm going to use Fair Life. You can use any berries. So I'm going to do blueberries and strawberries, and then you'll need an egg. So to make our little mini pancake bites, super simple, I have one cup of the Clean Simple Eats protein pancake mix. I'm going to start with half of a cup of milk. It does call for two thirds of a cup. I'm just going to add milk if needed for the right consistency. And then we're going to add in one egg and then we're going to stir that together. We do want our batter on the lumpy side. I also am preheating my oven to 350 degrees. I went ahead and sprayed my little mini muffin pan with nonstick cooking spray. We're going to scoop in about a tablespoon of batter into each of our little mini muffin cups. matter how many mini pancakes you get. We're just going to divide out what we end up with by the servings. And then I diced up my strawberries a lot smaller. We're going to add a couple berries onto each of our little pancake bites. Our first batch of little pancake bites are going into the oven for 12 to 14 minutes or until cooked through. So the first batch is out of the oven. Don't these look so good? They smell amazing. I'm actually going to have some of these for breakfast this morning. So I'll show you how I put them together and then some of the different toppings and options that you have. I'm going to allow these to cool for a couple minutes and then we will add the rest of our batter. I'm hoping for 20 of the little pancake bites total. So I ended up getting four more, so that is 16 of the little pancake bites total. I'm going to go ahead and throw these last four into the oven. So here's my breakfast. So each serving is three of them. So that's really good for the points and calories. And then I paired it with half of a cup of cottage cheese with some strawberries on top, as well as one tablespoon of chia smash. This is amazing. It's chia seeds, lemon, and fruit and dates, really clean ingredient, great jam substitute. It would also be really good on top of the little pancake bites. You could also do some sugar-free maple syrup. I did just a sprinkle of powdered sugar and this ends up being a really high protein breakfast. So I'll go ahead and put here on the screen the points, calories, macros for the little pancake bite. So for my lunch this week, I'm making a Philly cheese steak meal prep. So basically what I'm going to do is make a, a 
a zero carb lunch. Now you can pair this with low carb tortillas. You could make some potatoes. You can really do whatever you want. I'm probably going to put my Philly cheesesteak mixture into a low carb tortilla, but the base itself is actually zero carbs, extremely high protein. So let me show you what you'll need. So you're going to need portobello mushrooms, a bell pepper, one pound of the leanest steak you can find. I ended up getting a sirloin steak. You can also get a flank steak or flat iron. Those are really lean cuts. I went with the Sargento ultra thin provolone cheese, an onion, salt, pepper, and Worcestershire sauce. So I have a skillet warming up over medium heat with some nonstick cooking spray. I sliced up my steak. We're going to add that. Cook it for about three to four minutes. Flip it for another three to four minutes. We're going to add in our sliced up red bell pepper and onions and allow those to cook for about three minutes. Then we're going to add in our sliced portobello mushrooms, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, and some salt and pepper. And then we're just going to let this cook until everything is done. The steak and all the veggies are softened. So here is the fajita mixture. This smells so good. So this entire pan makes four servings. So I'm going to divide it out into four meal prep containers. And then I'm going to add one slice of the ultra thin provolone right on top. I think I'm going to tear it in half so we get a little bit of cheese on all of it when we warm it up. Here are the Philly cheesesteak meal preps. Like I said, you can pair these with any carb source that you want. I'm going to use a low carb tortilla, just the 70 calorie ones, two points. They are perfect. I should be able to fit all of the Philly cheesesteak mixture in there. You could also use a hoagie roll, really truly whatever you would like. If you eat it all on its own, again, it is zero carbs, extremely high protein. So I'll put all of the macros and points here on the screen for you. For dessert this week, I'm making Funfetti shortbread cookies. I'm so excited for these. I love shortbread. I love Funfetti. So let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need vanilla extract. You can use any flour of your choice. You could use oat flour, almond flour, regular flour, your preference. You'll need milk of your choice, sweetener. As always, I'm using allulose. Love allulose. I've transitioned over from monk fruit with erythritol because I hate the cooling effect of it to allulose. Allulose is derived from figs and raisins. So it's the most natural sweetener alternative. I have the brand Sensato. Sensato, I buy it right off of Amazon. I found the most affordable price. I'll link it for you. This is the best allulose that I've tried. You will not know the difference. No cooling effect, tastes just like regular sugar. So I'll link it on Amazon for you. You'll need unsweetened applesauce baking powder. The recipe calls for butter extract. I could not find it anywhere, so I'm going to sub cake batter extract. That makes perfect sense in Funfetti cookies, rainbow sprinkles, and some salt. So to get started on our cookies, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. We're adding one and a half cups of flour, one half of a cup of allulose, one teaspoon of baking powder, and a pinch of salt. And then mix all of your dry ingredients together. And we're going to add one quarter cup milk, half of a cup unsweetened applesauce, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and then two teaspoons of butter extract if you can find it, or in my case, cake batter. And then you're going to mix until fully combined. I'm going to add in a quarter cup of sprinkles and then just fold those in. Calls for 40 cookies. Now there are only one point if you get 40 cookies. I'm going to make mine a little bit bigger and I'm going to shoot for 20 cookies. We'll see what I end up with. I'm using about, a, I'm using a tablespoon cookie scoop. I'm going to scoop that out onto my baking sheet. So we may get closer to 40, I'm not exactly sure, but if we measure them out in one tablespoon scoops, it's perfect. So I have 15 cookies. I'm going to just pat them down a little bit before we add some more sprinkles. 
And I always just spray my fingers with a little bit of nonstick cooking spray and it works perfect to tap them down. And then we're just going to add some sprinkles to the top and just press them in. We're going to bake our cookies for about 12 minutes or until they're cooked completely through. And while the first batch is in the oven, I'm going to roll out the rest of my dough. So I ended up getting 21 cookies total. So I'm going to add a few more sprinkles and then we'll pop these into the oven when the first batch comes out. The cookies are out of the oven while the first batch, oh my gosh, these look so delicious. So if you were to make 40, they would be pretty small, about half the size of these. I'm going to allow these to cool, package them up for the week when the other pan comes out of the oven and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. Here are the cookies. So I just layered them in a dish here for storage for the week. You can store them on your counter in the refrigerator. I did try one. These are so good. I love the cake batter extract. It gives it a little bit more of a cakey taste and the consistency is not hard like a shortbread. They give me more, again, of a cakey texture and taste, but they're really, really good. So I will put points, calories, macros on the screen for 40 cookies and for 20 cookies. Thank you for joining me for another weekly meal prep. I hope you enjoyed seeing breakfast, lunch, cookies for dessert. You can still have your favorite foods and lose weight, which is so incredibly exciting. Don't forget that all three of today's recipes are on my recipe website that is linked at the top of the description box, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come follow and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Happy Monday, friends. I hope this helps you make an amazing, successful week for yourself, and I will see you in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day.